Neil, we're here at Valve Tech today to see the ZX range in action. Now, some people may have a misconception that the ZX range is simply tooling for a horizontal boring machine, but this actually adds capability to the machine tool. How is this achieved? Right, yeah, uh, that's exactly right, Geo. Um, what, uh, what, the, what the Cogsdale um, ZX system does, it allows you to produce um, op operations that you would normally put on a lathe on a, on a horizontal boring machine. So effectively, you're changing your horizontal boring machine and giving that turning capability? Correct, yep. You can, do, um, you can do boring, you can do contouring, you can do radii, you can do tapers, you can do threads, everything that you would, uh, you'd normally have to second up. Uh, you don't now have to second up it. Once you've got a Cogsdale um, facing and contouring head, you can do it on a horizontal boring machine. I can see loads of advantages of this, less tools, less setups, um, keeping all the, the, the dimensions uh, true to each other, the concentricity. So my question is now, why isn't everyone using this technology? That's exactly right, Gio, and you touched there on, on, on tooling. Um, the, uh, the facing and contouring heads, or the ZX range from Cogstill, um, allow you to do multiple operations in one setup. So, for example, if you've got a component that's got, say, four bores on it, um, you would need eight different uh, boring bar setups. Um, so you'd need roughing and finishing for each of the eight bores, plus if you've got any chamfering to do in between. Um, so you've got quite a lot of setups there um, that you can do away with and use in one setup with, uh, with the Cogsdale ZX range. Is it simple to interface to the machine? Yep, very simple. It's just a, uh, a simple bonnet that bolts to the, uh, the outer spindle. Um, this makes it then modular, so you can use any one of Cogstill's heads on that machine. And what about the programming? Obviously, you're adding turning capability to a, a milling machine, effectively. Yeah, the program is again simple. Um, uh, at Valve Tech here, they do it offline. They use the CAD CAM software. It's very simple. Now, anyone that's watched this video that may be interested in this technology, you know, how should they get in touch with you, and what's the process? They can get in touch with us via our website at um, www.cogsdill.co.uk or via phone or email, um, and we'll send an engineer out and have a look at the application and see whether it's the right thing for you.